We're going to go to our GMA exclusive with actress Evan Rachel Wood, opening up for the first time on camera about her sexual assault allegations against former boyfriend Marilyn Manson. ABC News Live anchor Lindsay Davis sat down with her and joined us with more. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning to you, Michael. Evan Rachel Wood says she knew it would be a big problem when she decided to publicly name her alleged abuser as Brian Warner, known to many, of course, as Marilyn Manson. But since then, others have come forward, also accusing him of abuse. Now, for the first time, Wood is sitting down, opening up about what she says happened to her. So many survivors live in fear of judgment and retaliation, and mainly live with shame. And I know because I experienced it, and it was time to stop being silent. She's known for hit films like 13. Let me, let me see that. No, mom! And shows like Westworld. Is this really what you want? They never gave us a choice before, Teddy. But in 2018, Evan Rachel Wood took on a new role as an activist for domestic violence and sexual assault victims, testifying twice before lawmakers about what she says was her own personal experience with abuse. He broke me down through means of starvation, sleep deprivation, and threats against my life. At the time, you did not name mm -hmm. the person who you said had abused you. Why? I was too scared. It was made very clear to me that there would be retaliation and to expose a person in power and who is as high profile as he is uh, clearly is a huge undertaking. On February 1st of last year, Wood publicly named her alleged abuser as Brian Warner, otherwise known as Marilyn Manson, who she says she met when she was 18 and then dated on and off for more than four years. The new HBO documentary, Phoenix Rising, details her journey to naming him. He responded after you named him publicly, saying horrible distortions of reality, saying that his intimate relationships have always been entirely consensual with like-minded partners. What did you think of his response? From what I can tell, he's alluding to the fact that maybe this was just kinky sex. Brian and I did not have a BDSM relationship we did not have kinky sex. This is not a sexual preference. This is not, that's not what we're talking about here. The heavy metalist is known for his shock rock, an often controversial persona. Would you say that it's a fair assessment to say that he kind of came as advertised? No, I mean, I don't think the world would have put mm -hmm. him on such a pedestal if they really thought that his act was real. In the film, Wood describes the psychological and physical trauma she claims Warner put her through. You claim that Brian raped you, cut you, beat you, forced you to drink his blood, all without your consent. Mm -hmm. Recalling one of her several attempts to leave him. He called me 158 times and cut himself every time I didn't pick up the phone and said he was going to kill himself. This is when people in my life started saying, you need to get a restraining order. And I said, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That, that, the getting a restraining order seemed crazy to me because I was like, you're only going to make him more mad. I went back to his home to try to defuse the situation after he'd been cutting himself and threatening suicide. And I was severely punished. Earlier this month, Warner filed a lawsuit against Wood and an activist featured in the documentary named Ilma Gore, whom he calls Wood's on-again, off-again romantic partner. The complaint claims they used the film project to recruit, coordinate, and pressure women who had been linked to Warner to make false accusations of abuse against him. It also alleges, among other things, they impersonated an FBI agent in a fictitious letter claiming there was a federal investigation into Warner and that Wood and his other alleged victims were in danger. In response to the documentary, Warner's attorney released this statement to ABC News, saying in part, nothing that Evan Rachel Wood, Ilma Gore, or their hand-picked co-conspirators have said on this matter can be trusted. This is just more of the same. But then again, what else would you expect from a group who have spread falsehood after falsehood about Brian? I stand by everything that I've said about the abuse allegations. Can you establish if the claims against you are false? I don't believe I'm legally allowed to comment on any of the allegations, but I am very confident that I have the truth on my side. Wood says that she was interviewed by the FBI, and last November, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department raided Warner's home. The LASD says an investigation is ongoing. The FBI would not comment. The two-part HBO documentary film Phoenix Rising debuts tomorrow, March 15th and March 16th on HBO and HBO Max. Some really egregious allegations, guys. Worthy. Sure, Lindsay. Thanks very much.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.